Hello friends, so in this tutorial we will see the addition and subtraction of two continuous signal in MATLAB. So uh, examples for continuous signals can be a sine wave or cosine wave because the amplitude changes with respect to time. There is a continuous signal generated in these two. So we will plot these two graphs first and uh, observe the uh, arithmetic operations on it like addition and subtraction. So this is a MATLAB workbench. So let's consider the time value t from 0 to 1 with the step of 0 0.01. So 0.01 to 1. So this represents the time value from 0 to 1 with the step of 0 0.01. Semicolon so we have t and let's consider frequency as 50 hertz so we have t and f and we want omega t which is we'll consider it as t1 for representation purpose and we know the formula of omega t as 2 pi ft so t1 is nothing but omega t is equal to 2 into we have built in function pi in MATLAB pi into f into t semicolon and enter so we have got t1 values now and let's plot the sine graph sine wave or it will consider it as x1 is equal to sine of t1 which is sine omega t nothing but sine omega t so sine t1 semicolon so we have generated we got the x1 values and let's use a subplot command subplot command open the bracket it means we want three rows one column at first position and close the bracket semicolon this means that we have three rows one column and it is represented at first position like this way so we will close it for timing and let's plot the graph now. We will it up plot 3, 1, 1, 1. Once again without the semicolon. So same thing gets generated. So we'll plot the graph now. Plot time versus x1. So time versus x1. Close the bracket semicolon. So this is how it appears. Time versus x1. So uh, we'll take a simple values. This is a complicated graph which got generated. Let's take simple t value. For example, t from 0 to 0 0.001 to 1. 2.1. Point one, okay, and F as frequency as fifty hertz, okay, and T one is equal to two pi F T. This remains same. Enter and X one as sine T one. And we have subplot
311 and plot we have tx1 so here we can see a simple sine wave plot generated so let's plot a similar type of graph for cosine wave so we will just write it as and let's write a title for this wave first title as sign wave sign wave we we'll got the title of this and let's plot a similar for cosine wave we'll consider x2 as cosine of t1 express cosine of t1 so value is getting generated now it's all generated let's subplot it again similar to cosine we want three rows comma one column and now at second position so we subplot subplot three rows one column at second position so we got it at second position and let's plot the cos graph we want it time versus x2 time versus x2 so we got the sine wave as well as the cosine wave so we have both the waves and let's write the title of cosine wave as cos wave cos wave so we got sine wave as well as cos wave so let's use another variable we'll close this for time being and let's consider another variable y one as y1 as x so is equal to x1 plus x2 x1 plus x2 x1 plus x2 so y1 value got generated and let's sub plot it this is the addition we are doing of the two uh, two continuous signal that is the sine wave and the cos wave so sub plot sub plot at three rows we want three rows one column and at third position that is below the cosine wave so let's sub plot it so we got it at third position and let's plot the addition of both sine as well as cosine waves so plot t comma x t comma y 1 the bracket so this is the addition of sine wave and cosine wave let's plot the sine wave once again that is t comma x2 yeah this is the cosine wave well as sine wave and plot t comma y1 so this is the addition of sine wave and cos wave similarly we can perform the subtraction and for that we'll consider y2 as a variable and we'll do x1 minus x2 instead of plus and 
semi problem and sub plot it below the this addition so we'll sub plot it we want three rows and one column at fourth position which is below this graph sub plot on sub plot three rows one column at fourth position so actually it's showing the index number is more than uh, subplot so let's change it we will again once again subplot it subplot 3 rows one column and this time we'll put it at first position so it appears there and let's plot the graph between t and y2 which is the subtraction so here it appears as the subtraction and the addition of the two continuous waves so let's close it so this was about the addition and subtraction of the continuous signals we took the example of sine wave and cosine wave for this purpose and checked the behavior of the graphs in this tutorial. Thank you.